Whitman Festival is back for its 107th year. So Molly is live in Esparto to give us a preview and learning lots and meeting a lot of people. Hi. Hello. Oh, it is such a celebration here in the Cape Bay Valley. You know, there's just something about live music and sunshine, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, we are at Esparto Community Park. Uh, more than 50 vendors, live music, food, a lot of local vendors, you know, a lot of farmers in the Cape Bay Valley, of course. So you're getting some good local food. Now, I have to ask you, what's cooler than finding Ammons at the Ammon Festival? I don't know. What is cooler? It's it's meeting the Ammon Queen oh, at hey. the Ammon Festival. Yes, this is the 2022 Ammon Queen, Carla. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, Carla is a senior at Esparto High School. And when did you find out you're Almond Queen? Um, it was last week. We had a pageant, and I took I said my speech, and we were there, and then we were standing, all four of us standing on the stage, and they were ready to announce the winner. And I was like, it's going to be one of my friends, you know, like, try to be happy for them. Like, don't be sad that you don't win. And they said my name, and I was like, what? I was, I was super confused, and I was just, like, overwhelmed. I started to tear up a little. And then I ended up cracking a joke. I was like, I really shouldn't cry because my mom paid a lot of money for my makeup. I really shouldn't. And then it was, it was really great. It's a great experience for me, like, to, like, do public speaking, too. So it was great for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, as someone who grew up here in Esparta, you know, it's the 107th. Ammon Festival, so this does mean a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does, because it's something we've been doing every year. Like, I remember looking forward to Ammon Festival uh, since I was a kid, but since, like, last year and a half, I was really sad about it, but I'm really happy we're going to do it this year. Yeah. You're a you're great queen for a comeback. <laughs> um, so, you know, I keep telling you what a cool, like, close, tight-knit community as Sparto is, and here's some proof. There's more than 50 vendors here today. One of them, Carla's uh, brother and dad with KGBs. Nestor, how's it going? Doing, doing well, thanks. Okay, so you guys are bee, you're like professional pollinators. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we're beekeepers. So basically what we do, our biggest thing is we take our bees, we take them all the way out to almonds and basically pollinate. So you'll see here in town, right around this time, uh, you'll see all those little white flowers. That's where our bees are going out and pollinating and eating all that food. And that's where a lot of this honey comes with and all the local flowers too. Right, so the honey is kind of like a perk of the job because you are doing all that pollinating. Honey, bees got to make honey. Yeah, yeah. So it's their, it's their one of their main food sources. So uh, it's a byproduct, and then it's great for things like coffee, great in tea, uh, perfect for the local allergies. So yeah, it's really great. Tina, have you ever put honey in coffee? I had never heard of doing that before. Oh, oh. no, I don't drink I coffee. But I, I put it in my oh, tea. That's a good I idea. put it in my tea. Oh, okay. Well, oh, it's a hot a tip. Uh, I follow KGBs on Instagram. They they do a lot of cool stuff. So it was it was I was actually pretty stoked to see you guys today. Um, but again, there are more than 50 vendors. We're not done here yet. We are going to take you throughout, meet some of them, maybe taste a little bit of food. But congratulations to Thank the you. almond queen. Now, since you are the queen, I heard your brother say almond. <laughs> yes. I have to say almond. I don't like say almond. See? I don't know. Okay. I see. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm with her too. Shake the L out of it. Of course. <laughs> well, you heard it from the queen. I guess this year, according to Queen, queen Carla, it's the almond festival, and she is the almond <laughs> yeah. queen. Okay, okay, I can go back to saying that. Thanks, Molly. From the 107th Almond Festival. Very good. Very, very nice. All right, we're trying our hand at everyone's favorite calorie bomb appetizer coming up at 10 o'clock. We're going to give you two different versions of a deviled egg recipe. And whoever loses.